I'm not concerned with your liking or disliking me. All I ask is that you respect me as a human being. Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson was important on and off the field. And for you to better understand that, I have reviewed the following sources. JackieRobinson.com BrandyQuote.com Trinco.edu MentalFloss.com and JackieRobinson.org Hi, my name is Jose Castillo and I would like to acknowledge and praise Jackie Robinson for the obstacles he's faced during his lifetime, all the great accomplishments he achieved, and what a great benefit he was to our society. Jackie Robinson was a great baseball player, but he was an even greater human being. Born on January 31st, 1919, in the south of Georgia, he moved to California at a young age. There, he was the only color of family on the block, and therefore was a subject to prejudice and discrimination. Even so, being one of five children and being raised by a single mother after his father had walked out on them, the racial discrimination only strengthened their bond. He attended UCLA but dropped out due to financial problems, although he worked very hard to keep his family afloat. He enlisted in the army but was cut short due to court martial. Marshall, I'm sorry, due to the fact that he did not want to sit in the back of the bus even though the bus was not segregated. He learned how to cope with fans and players' racism during his time in the MLB. Dealing with racism was difficult for Jackie, but that did not stop him from accomplishing great things. At a young age, Jackie Robinson was a natural athlete and that continued with him throughout his life. In college, he was the first athlete to earn varsity letters in four sports, that being baseball, basketball, track, and football. This led for him to being signed by the Kansas, Kansas City Monarchs in 1945. His batting average was great, 0.387 and his ability to steal bases led him branch Ricky to sign him in 1946. He played in the minor leagues until 1947 when he finally broke the color burial in April 15, 1947 with the Brooklyn Dodgers. He faced immense pressure from the nation as well as his teammates. He even received hate mail and death threats. But that did not phase Jackie Robinson. He proved that color was not an advantage nor a disadvantage by winning the Rookie of the Year in his first year in the Major Leagues. During his 10 years with the Dodgers, he helped them to win six pennants in their first World Series in 1955. He was an All-Star from 1949 to 1954 and won the league's MVP in 1949. After his retirement, the accomplishments did not stop. He was the first African American into the Hall of Fame in 1962, the first year of his eligibility. He was also the first African American TV sports analyst and vice president of a major American corporation. He co-founded the Freedom National Bank, which was one of the first African American banks in this country. And in 1997, his number 42 was retired from MLB. Robinson's greatest achievement was a benefit to society. Jackie Robinson once said, There's not an American in this country free until every one of us is free. I believe that since Jackie Robinson paved the way for all minorities in all sports, he always works against racial inequality and acknowledges the influence of a man's life in American culture. Jackie Robinson always had a strong character. 
He even had the courage to play baseball and was determined to succeed in a prejudiced and hostile time. In 1984, President Ronald Reagan posthumously awarded him with the Presidential Medal of Honor. President George Bush also awarded him the Congressional Gold Medal in 2004. Jackie Robinson was largely involved in the Civil Rights Movement in the 1960s. After his death in 1972, his wife founded the Jackie Robinson Foundation, a nonprofit organization to help minorities, especially African Americans, into college. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. stated that Jackie Robinson was a legend and symbol in his own time who challenged the dark skies of intolerance and frustration. Robinson's influence can still be seen today in the world of sports and in everyday society. I honor Jackie Robinson for overcoming those obstacles in his life, his accomplishments, and the benefit to society. Jackie Robinson may have been faced with tough times, but he rode through, rode them out. I honor this because he helped the minorities in the world of sports, but also exceeded expectations, which led him to accomplish many great things during and after his life. He is still a very inspiring person, and his influence in baseball has led his number 42 to be retired from throughout the league, only to be worn by everybody on his day, April 15th. Thank you.